uh, to the first round without eliminating each other to give potentially more people the chance of those experienced and, well, if you want to call them good teams, to actually have a chance of making it into the semis and finals and winning the crown. Uh, now, it is 16 finals, so everyone who passed it through the 32, round of 32, is now going to be kicking it off versus the other guys who made it through. So now we get to see actually experienced and better teams versus more experienced and better teams. Here we have TWA versus AAO. Uh, we see Hakus on both sides. Once again, the TWA does something weird and they take a Republic and a Yamato. Uh, a Minotaur on this map. Okay. Uh, Hindenburg, Zhao and Triple Moskwa with no destroyers! Holy sh... Oh my god, not a... Wow, AAO follows with almost five Hindenburgs! Five Hindis and a Moskwa, Yamato and a Montana, holy hell, there is no destroyers left! We are going in hot, Blood Legend is already under fire, this game is going to be absolutely insane! Both teams kicking in with some crazy strats, five Hindenburgs! Triple Moskwa, like, they have three radars that I don't know how much, how much use the TWA is going to have from these three from these three radars oh he's getting heavily shelled oh that's a citadel through the nose here comes more ap from the side is this gonna be it oh my lord very high very high shells very lucky their blood legend loses half of his well actually two-thirds of his hp more than half of his hp straight from the start but he has finally got to his save point pick this is my safe spot now you can't do a thing about it unless they make a heavy heavy push here and break it through we will see how that will end up meanwhile we have a moskwa hindenburg zao and a yamato moving in to support him he's still taking fire but yeah they 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 won't land any hits there so moskwa hindi zao yamato on one side, a Moskwa Hindi, Minotaur half HP gone, that's a smoke screen Minotaur, okay, okay, we are in for a lot of surprises, this King of the Sea, I am super, super excited to see how this is gonna end up, and these teams have said like, you think you've seen it all, we're about to show you that we can develop a new meta right on the spot, zero destroyers, a bunch of radars, and a gazillion amount of Hindenburgs. Everybody's gonna go in heavy here But this is one thing that TWA has taken the gamble here. It's like we are not gonna go with any destroyers We are gonna go with three Moskwas one on each side for one of you know each of the caps uh, Moskwa has a 35 second radar with the special module that has 11.7 .7 kilometer range and Oh in the meantime the boom the boom dude in the Hindi is down to 19,000 HP and heavy shelling incoming. Uh-oh, 16k. Oh boy, that's a couple of more hits. That's him probably down to like 15k or so. That is not good. You can see the focus fire on that guy. 100% HP ships and then that dude seriously low. Ooh, the game is kicking off hot. It's kicking off hot. Let's see, 11.7 uh, km radar range, so you can you can see that they clearly went for, we will be there to contest it the first time and then we'll see what we do. But, but, what they have done is they have sacrificed a lot of Blood Legends HP to basically move him into B and secure the only cap in the game. And right now they actually move the Minotaur with a smoke screen into the sea as well. So they get him. Meanwhile, this Moskva is getting shelled. They got uh, they got points on him. They got angles, but the Minotaur right here. Ooh. I mean, sorry, the Hindenburg over here, not the Minotaur, Jesus. The Hindi over here has been dropped to like significantly low HP. The Tobiasho is super low. Super low. We will see how that goes. Oh, and he's shooting! He's shooting! Did he at least heal? Come on, why can we not see this? There we go. No, that's... that's Eragoth. Where is he? Is it this guy? Someone here 
was very low on HP. Yeah, it's still Biyasho. He actually went literally to the... Oh, there he goes. That's a Citadel from Republic. Good uh, by Toby. Back to, uh, back to uh, doing the admin stuff. This is not gonna go well. He went to the edge of the edge to try and stay concealed, but I'm guessing the carriers... The carriers paid it worth in scouting. Meanwhile, the Blood Legend is taking it... Taking it to the face like a champ. We will see how long she will... Uh, she will stay alive. Like I said, this one... This Moskwa was... Might as well have been sacrificial. She got the cap and lost a lot of HP for it and the only way they can take that down is they, if they do a heavy push here and that heavy push has costed them the first ship the JNJK92 is down in his Hindenburg he was very low when we last spotted him and they are taking it down and now the Moskva is finally down so the B cap is safe I mean the B cap is free but who's gonna go and cap it none of these teams have any any uh oh any DDs uh oh, 4000 HP and he's continuously taking hits and there he goes. This is going to be an absolute massacre. It's going to be very challenging, very, very challenging to even keep up the pace with these ships dying left and right because you can see this is a very big map. It's a huge map that's been divided literally into two battlefields. The only one that was a, was a blood legend went into B to take B and then he got taken down. In the meantime, the rest of the troops have went uh, for both sides on A and C. But if we take a look at the HP points, I think AAO is very much down on ships. They have three Hindenburgs down for Blood Legend, which has done his, uh, he's done his job. And we got some torpedoes from the Minotaur coming in. It's like, hello, there is no DDs, but 10km Minotaur torpedoes that will definitely have the range Oh, that is going to be very nasty. That's one. That's two. That's him going down. 700. 771 HP. The Mino needs to be landing more shots on the superstructure. There he goes. Moskwa takes the Amata down. The AAO has fallen apart here pretty fast. Pretty fast. And now there's only this Hindenburg left here under the focus fire of the Mino. Still in the smoke screen. Republic and the Moskwa. It's probably just going to... Well, I wanted to say charge in, but then again, this is a Hindi. He's got torps. Unless the Republic takes another one down. That is C cap completely wiped clean. And the cap is in securely in TWA's hands. The B has now been free from Bud Legend for a while now. But there's nothing to cap it. And the last forces that the AAO has on the bare sliver of, uh, of points left. The last 20 points are down. And that is it. That was super fast game. Last match we watched, it took him 8 minutes to do the first blood. Less than 8 minutes into the game. The game is already over. The TWA has prevailed, losing one ship. This is the first ship that the TWA has lost in this... Well, 32s and 16 finals games that we've been watching so far. The first ship that they lost, and I'm pretty sure they were willing to gamble... This guy's life. It was like blood legend. You want to be legend? Well, keep legend and go in there and show everybody that you can go in the metal, cap it, and then stay alive for as long as you can. We will create as much pressure, but we need those points because we are going with no destroyers. And they run into an AAO that went crazy five Hindis, but that was way too many broadsides for AAO and eventually didn't really pay off. If you would ask me, I would say that the uh, um, AAO setup was much better. I mean, five Hindenburgs, they have a significant pushing power. Close quarters are much better. They are tankier. They have less HP than Moskvas. But Moskvas are there for radars and there was no destroyers to radar. And they just couldn't utilize it. They kept it. They kept fighting at a maximum range. And the Moskva does have a faster shell velocity as far as I recall. I mean, I really don't play Moskva. But if I recall, you kind of want to get closer to her uh, to utilize those Hindenburg's advantages. But that's, that's where they failed. They kept fight at a long distance. And uh, the TWA just picked them off with those battleships one by one. While keeping their, their ships mostly, mostly alive besides this guy. Which was 
Sacrifice totally not in vain. Very well played to TWA. Very exciting first match to watch. We are surely in for a show in a game number two that is coming up right now. Alright, the next map 